Hello students, welcome to Amy channel. Everyone's success story begins here. Today, I want to discuss about the chemistry practicals. In 10th class CBSE portion, we have chemistry practicals as follows. pH, acids and bases, ethanoic acid, type of reactions, displacement reactions, soaps and detergents differentiation. Coming to the first practical, pH. pH is defined as negative logarithm of based in hydrogen ion concentration. pH was invented by Sorensen. pH scale extends from 0 to 7, 7 to 10. S less than 7 are acids, more than 7 are bases and exactly 7 is neutral. Neutral is denoted by green color and below 7 are acids, strong acids are represented by red, weak acids are represented by orange or yellow. Above 7 are bases, weak bases are represented by blue and strong bases are represented by purple. Hint, indirectly from 14 to 1, if it comes, it represents the rainbow color VIBGR. This is short summary of pH experiment. Number 2, acids and bases differentiation. This we have discussed in case of HCl and NaOH. Differences between HCl acid and NaOH sodium hydroxide base. HCl turns blue litmus to red litmus and NaOH turns red litmus to blue litmus. Coming to the reaction with zinc, acids plus metals gives we know salt plus hydrogen gas. Even bases plus metals also gives salt plus hydrogen gas. So the reactions are 2 HCl plus Zn gives ZnCl2 plus H2 gas. Whereas in NaOH, 2 NaOH plus Zn gives Na2ZnO2 plus H2 gas. And third differentiation between acids and bases. Acids show reaction with carbonates and bicarbonates and liberates carbon dioxide effervescence. Whereas bases do not react with carbonates and bicarbonates. This is the major difference between acids and bases. I mean to say reaction with carbonates and bicarbonates. HCl when it reacts with sodium carbonate you will get salt, water, carbon dioxide. The salt formed is NaCl, H2O and CO2. Third experiment. Ethanoic acid. And ethanoic acid also, even though it is carboxylic acid and organic acid, it almost shows same properties which we already discussed in HCl. It is an organic acid. And we know organic acids are weak acids. I mean to say, weak acids decompose partially. Partially means all hydrogen atoms do not liberate it. Ethanoic acid is completely soluble in water and forms clear homogeneous solution. This is very important question. Many times it has been asked in board examination. Once again I repeat, ethanoic acid forms clear homogeneous solution with water. And ethanoic acid in water is called as vinegar. 5% of ethanoic acid in water is called vinegar. Ethanoic acid is also called as often glacial acetic acid because it often freezes in winter. I mean to say in cold climate conditions it often freezes that's why pure ethanoic acid is called as glacial acetic acid and since ethanoic acid is also a carboxylic acid and weak acid it shows acidic properties as usual it turns blue litmus to red litmus so coming to the reactions ethanoic acid also reacts with sodium to form sodium acetate plus hydrogen gas ethanoic acid reacts with sodium carbonate same sodium acetate water carbon dioxide gas carbon dioxide in chemistry is called as effervescence carbon dioxide liberated we can test it by using by passing carbon dioxide into lime water lime water in presence of carbon dioxide turns milky due to the formation of CaCO3 and next react next experiment is different types of chemical reactions we have seen different types of chemical reactions are Combination, decomposition, displacement, double displacement, exothermic reaction, endothermic reaction, oxidation, reduction, redox, precipitation and utilization. But for experimental purpose, practical examination concerned, we have only combination, decomposition, displacement, double displacement. Coming to combination and decomposition. The first difference between both of them are in combination, two or more atoms combine to form one molecule, whereas in decomposition, one molecule breaks down into two or more molecules. This is the first difference. And coming to the combination example, we can take so many examples are there. I am going to give here CaO plus H2O gives CaOH taken twice. Quick line on hydrolysis gives silicate line. Whereas in decomposition, we read decomposition under three subheadings. They are decomposition in heat, decomposition in presence of sunlight, decomposition in presence of current. 
coming to decomposition presence of heat under decomposition presence of heat we have three reactions number one is calcium carbonate on heat liberates cao plus co2 number two two molecules of ferrous sulfate on heating liberates fe2o3 ferric oxide plus sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide other reaction is lead nitrate on heating gives lead oxide nitrogen dioxide gas oxygen gas Coming to decomposition presence of sunlight, it is also called photographic reaction, very important. Two molecules of silver chloride in presence of sunlight undergoes decomposition to give silver and chlorine. And the last one is decomposition presence of current. Two molecules of water on passing current into them, it liberates hydrogen gas, oxygen gas. Since hydrogen is a positive ion normally, it is liberated at cathode. So hydrogen gas is liberated at cathode, whereas oxygen gas is liberated at anode. Coming to next type of reaction, displacement and double displacement reactions. What is displacement reaction? Displacement is one atom moves from one molecule to another molecule, whereas in double displacement, two atoms are exchanged between two molecules. Displacement. In displacement, one example which we are going to discuss is zinc plus 2 HCl gives 2 ZnCl2 plus H2 gas. Here, chlorine is moving from HCl to zinc, that's why it is called displacement. Whereas in double displacement, barium hydroxide plus sodium sulfate, we will know we will get NaOH and barium sulfate. Barium sulfate is a white precipitate, very important question. And here we can see OH hydroxide ions and sulfate ions are exchanging their positions. That's why they are called double displacement reactions. And coming to the Next experiment, displacement reactions. As already we have discussed in the above experiment about displacement, the main concept in displacement reaction is we have to remember about reactivity series. And also remember the most important, more reactive metal displaces less reactive metals from their salts. I mean to say, suppose iron reacts with copper sulfate to form iron sulfate plus copper. Because iron is more reactive, it can displace copper from copper sulfate. Same thing, copper plus iron sulfate reaction do not occur because copper is present below iron and is less reactive than iron. So copper cannot displace iron from iron sulfate. In this way, we came to know that more reactive metals displace less reactive metals from their salts. And coming to next last experiment is differences between soaps and detergents. We have to take two test tubes. In one of them, we have to take soap solution and in another one, we have to take detergent solution. In both of them, we have to put normally hard water and shake them vigorously. After shaking, we will see less foam is formed in soap solution whereas more foam is formed in detergent solution. This indicates that soaps cannot act in presence of hard water whereas detergents can act even in hard water because soaps cannot act in hard water because soaps reacts with salts present in hard water to form insoluble precipitate called scum. Therefore, soaps cannot show better cleaning action in hard water whereas detergents can show better cleaning action even in hard water because they can overcome the action of salts present in the hard water these are the sum of difference between soaps and detergents on the whole we have discussed six experiments they are as follows number one we have discussed about ph and colors of acids and bases at different ph levels number two acids and bases i mean to say difference between hcl and innovation number three ethanoic acid and its properties number four types of reactions combination decomposition displacement double displacement number five displacement reactions and number six we have seen the differences between soaps and detergents all these are the important practicals for ten Subscribe to Amit channel and click the bell icon to get the latest updates of the videos which I upload.